YouTube. So we received a comment, and that comment was, wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that comment, I have to say, big shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel because we just hit 7K subs. Again, y'all never seem to surprise me. This channel is growing. It's always growing. It's still growing. And now we are at 7K subs. The goal is still 10, though, before July. So, you know, big shout out to everybody who's been supporting. I really appreciate it. But I would be remiss to say that I'm not excited to touch 10K subs. Um, that's not what this video is about, though. Let's go ahead and get into the content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this comment so the comment is from a subscriber of sav 1856 uh she said congratulations what is next for you what are your goals now where do you see yourself going with this uh, definitely make a video on it so this was a comment to a video about me getting accepted into an absm program and um yeah so basically my plan with this is to do my nursing program get out of my nursing program and apply to either an ICU or ED position. Y'all know I've been back and forth with what specialty I want to go into. I know the ED provides a lot of like opportunity and that's really where like my interests lie. But you know, I told you guys recently, I've been looking at like a CRNA option. And in order for me to do that, I have to be in the ICU. Like it's a guaranteed, I have to work in the ICU. But <sighs> deep sigh, I don't know I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. I don't know exactly which specialty I want to go into yet, but I will tell you this, and maybe this will be good advice for like anybody who's doing a nursing program already. If you want to become a CRNA, you have to know that you have to do ICU. My thing is this, being, becoming a CRNA, getting accepted into a CRNA program, going back to school for three years, it sounds very like blah to me. You know what I mean? Anybody don't want to go back to school for that amount of time after just finishing a nursing program. But, but I will say this. I at least want to give myself the option to do the program if possible. Who knows what life will look like? Who knows what, you know, um, it, life who knows how life will bless me later on in life um i would say that my biggest issue would be money when it comes to a crna program not being able to work having to rely on like scholarships and like loans or whatever but you know say you know there's later on in life i make money in a different way you know where i'll be able to support myself while i do the program i will have no problem entering the icu um and then going into a crna program but I know like most people, people gotta work and I would have to as well. So that's the only like gripe that I have about, you know, doing a CRNA program, but I at least wanna give myself the option. So um, my goal is to first just get out of the program, finish in December, start working, you know, get experience, whether I do like one year in the ICU, two years in the ICU, or go just straight into the ED and kind of figure it out from there. Um, the good thing about nursing is that it's so broad, so broad. I could really do anything I want to do with it. If I want to work in a hospital, I could work in a hospital, you know, nursing home, jail. It, sky's the limit. That's why I got into this industry is simply because the sky is the limit. Um, later on in life, I know nurses aren't rich, but I feel like, you know, I could finesse it and money wouldn't be as much of an option if I do choose to, you know, follow through with this. So, um, yeah, so I got into the ABSM program and now the next step for me, immediate next step is just to finish the program and get into a specialty. That would be my next step. And I kind of went a little further than that, but I think you got the, the picture. The next question that she asked was, where do you see yourself going with this? Uh, definitely make a video on it. So yeah, that would be my goal. Um, CRNA, end goal, ICU, initial goal, ED, initial goal. I am even taking it a step further and I want to like go ahead since I've been doing CNA content and I'll just put it out there. I want to make money in different ways, whether that's real estate, whether that's opening my own CNA school, like who knows what the option is, but I definitely want to be able to be a force in the field and give opportunity to educate kind of like how I've been educating on my YouTube channel. That was the initial reason I made it is because I wanted to kind of like give younger guys or just guys in general who want to join the field and 
information and an option to see a male's perspective because i feel like it's a million videos online about nursing cna a registered nurse you know res respiratory therapist um pa and it's just like i wanted to be able to be like hey you know guys are in this field too and this is what it looks like so and as you see we got 7k views or whatever so yeah next is the location location is key with me i am residing in north carolina and i want north carolina to be that option for going to when i apply to jobs and start working charlotte is ideal place that's number one i'm putting that out there um definitely want to work in charlotte for sure if i don't do charlotte i'm thinking about texas um, i don't know too much about texas maybe y'all could let me know a little bit of like information down there but texas is definitely a place that i can see myself going um maybe not starting a family out there yet but you know leaving texas as an option texas is a very very nice um option i think and it's literally the very next it's top two on my places that i want to go as soon as i become a nurse so when i started applying for jobs in july i'll see what hospital you know have an icu available maybe it won't be in charlotte maybe it'll be in you know raleigh maybe it'll be in atlanta maybe it'll be in um texas who knows who knows i don't know yet but we'll see we'll see how it goes when i get there um I don't know. I think just the sky's the limit. And when you enter a field like this, that's so wide open. The sky truly is the limit. Um, I could work in the hospital that I worked in as a CNA, but I kind of just want to get a, like a different view, which I think a lot of people do when they become a nurse is just get a different view of life, you know, move, go see something else, you know, meet new friends, go where their friends are. That's the benefit is that it's so wide open and it's opportunity literally everywhere. We just had a hospital from Ohio come speak to my cohort about joining their program, joining their you know workforce and working in Ohio. And I'm like, you know, that's a job option. If I was to apply, I would probably get it simply because they know that they came to speak to us about, you know, a job there. So <sighs> I don't know. It's kind of overwhelming to think about it, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But um, yeah. For the guys that have been joining, because it's been a, a bunch of comments I'm seeing about different guys joining, asking me questions, stuff like that. I am working on videos. I am trying to get everything done. It's hard to do this and school, but I'm making it happen. It's hard to edit videos. It's hard to um, work on content because I'm literally taking time away from studying. Like, hold on, let me show y'all. Do y'all see this? We are on the cardiovascular system. make this up I'm still going but this is the pre notes before you get to class and take notes and then when you get to class and take notes you go back and reorganize your notes and when you reorganize your notes then you go ahead and put it into flashcards when you put it into flashcards you got to drill it while you're learning new information in the same day for another class and you come back the next day for the same class that you learn this and and then you start learning different information so it's fast paced. It's fast paced, but this is nursing. It's what I signed up for. So if you guys have any more valuable questions, I would not mind answering them. So make sure you keep them coming. But um, yeah, definitely want to congratulate y'all again because we are a family on the 7K subs. I think we're like 7,000, like two, almost 200, 7,000, like 150 or something like that. It's something crazy. But um, yeah, big shout out to everybody who's been supporting, liking, commenting all that good stuff make sure you share this with your friends that are going into healthcare make sure you share this with some of the males that you think that would want to join healthcare because healthcare is wide open and it's a good opportunity for a lot of people and a lot of money so i'll see you guys in the next video that's all i got all right 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 that was longer today i don't know <laughs> peace ah.